Hi you guys, welcome back to a brand new vlog. I hope you're all doing really, really well since I last spoke to you. My name is Jennifer, anyone who is new here and I'm a 27 year old living in New York City. I am coming to you guys from the future. I had a little bit of a mishap this morning with editing and deleted the first maybe like 10 minutes of this video and it was really only an unboxing so you guys didn't miss too much but I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that just so that you're not jumping into the vlog not knowing where we're going or what we're doing so basically I started the vlog at night and then the next morning you guys will see in a second I'll cut into me going to shoot but I did unbox things from ASOS and DISH and that's like the try on part that you'll see but honestly I was sitting down showing you guys the things anyway so it's better for me to just probably only have the try on part so yeah we had a little mishap but we're bouncing back and welcome back to another vlog I hope you guys will subscribe I would absolutely love to have you on my channel and let's jump right into it good morning guys it's Thursday I almost forgot what day it is because it's a little bit of an odd week but I'm currently walking to meet Sammy we're gonna shoot a couple of outfits I have on this really nice little puff sleeve dress from Shopo I got this last year but Avery was wearing it the other day so I think they still have it so I'll link it for you guys if it's still available because it's a really really good nice lightweight dress it is so humid today I can't even begin to explain like me walking like this is making me sweat, but also I feel like if I was just standing still, I'd be sweating, so. So we're meeting at Rails, and I have a whole bag of stuff. I switched one of my outfits out like last minute, so we'll see what that looks like, but it's actually stunning this morning. Really, really pretty like morning light all over these buildings, and I have to try to find some that is like street level, because I really like the sun in my photos these days. So this is the rail store here. I'm sure you guys have seen this a million times on my channel before. And then this is, I think it's Mercer, no it's green. <laughs> Lived here for almost a year, I should probably know this by now. Okay, just kidding, we are not meeting at CB2, we are meeting at Rails, which is only, no, I just flipped that around. We're not meeting at Rails, we're meeting at CB2, which is on Mercer, right down there. And then hopefully we can do a couple of like closer up shots because you know so I was looking a little tired lately and I feel like I've been shooting here a ton even though we've been trying to mix it up with like West Village and stuff it's just I don't know it gets kind of repetitive which sounds ridiculous but here we are so we've got CB2 and I don't know why there's trash on the ground because usually Wednesday is trash day. But maybe not for this street. I have no idea how it works. Okay, I'm back home and I am about to light this candle and I'm finishing a book of matches. And what I tend to do is I will go to a place like this was Madame George and I will have a couple cocktails and I will take like three or four of these to the point where I have so many matches. And so anytime that I finish a pack, it's always... A really good day so I'm gonna go into the living room and get another little I think I actually have like two more of these to finish and then the supply will start to dwindle but I think they're a really cute thing that restaurants do I just shouldn't be abusing the privilege of being able to grab them because there's just too many in this apartment now Okay, you guys, I'm just giving you a quick update from Amanda's room because the rest of the apartment is actually so dark right now. But I just went and shot with Sammy, and then I came back home, grabbed a dress that my sister wants to borrow, and then she came down here after her work shift, and I gave her the dress, and we went to Maman, so I have a cute little coffee. And then she took pictures of um, this little set that I'm wearing right now that I actually need to show you guys because it's adorable and I have this in my tote bag like all jumbled around because I was going to shoot it as my third one and it didn't wrinkle at all so this is just stunning I think it's from Darling Daisy if it's the wrong if I'm saying the wrong brand I will just <laughs> link these pieces anyway for you but it's this really cute like khaki color I'm gonna put you guys down so I can show you better okay so this is the top it has this little cargo style and I think I may have showed this in 
one of my recent vlogs where I was showing you guys like new in stuff and really love the color it's like a very cool toned olivey color I got a little bit of um, condensation on it from my coffee but it's this like silky kind of material and then the matching shorts which are drawstring they're not drawstring they are elasticated and I feel like sometimes these can look really casual but the length on them if I can try to show you guys is a little bit longer so I feel like because they're this longer length they look a little bit more chic and obviously because it's a matching set I think it just looks like really put together and elevated and it's a really good hot weather outfit to wear right now when it's like so hot in New York and you just don't want anything like touching you like all of this material besides this elasticated waist like skims my body and it's just so so comfortable so Highly recommend this, and I think it's a really good travel outfit for later today, too. I think I'm going to wear this when I go over to Hoboken to meet my friends before we drive down. You guys, I promise I did not forget to do the little try-on with you, and I think I just mentioned it when I was talking to you earlier this morning. But I just threw on the fourth and reckless set, and then we're going to go into the dish pieces. But this fabric is so, like, I don't want to say thick because I feel like with summer fabrics you don't want it to be thick, but it's very luxurious super high quality as you can tell like i have just only taken this out of the package and it's barely wrinkled and i know i also said that about the whatever brand the other side is that i was just wearing but i think that's super important when you're packing for like a vacation or to go on a trip or even if you're just walking around and you sit down somewhere and then you like keep going on with your day you don't want to have like wrinkles everywhere i feel like it's very irritating but usually with linen i'm okay with it because it's the nature of the material but in this case, you kind of get the nature of the material without having that wrinkling aspect, which I am so on board with. And then these are the matching pants. So I got these in a size four, just to kind of like mention to you guys, I normally get a size two, but these like fit me well, I would say. If anything, I would maybe even go for a size six. So if you're looking to size up in them, go two sizes up because I'm normally a two, these are a four and they like fit on my waist. Um, so just something to note, but I love this little detail here on the front. You guys can't see it, but, um, I love this little like patch here on the front. I think it's a really cute detail and kind of gives like that, like boxer short look. And then these come down to a really nice length. There's also pockets, which I don't think I mentioned cause I didn't know. Um, and goes really well with like this cute little pocket that's in the front here. So really cute. Again, like I mentioned when I unboxed them, I would want the shirt to be, I mean, I guess it's like pretty long, but if I were gonna wear the shirt like open on its own, I think I, or I guess on its own, like in general with a bathing suit, I would just want it to be like a little bit longer, but I already sized up in it. So I feel like I'm gonna keep this size and definitely wear this as a set with a bathing suit. So you can like just have the top and wear this open. You can also do like buttons like I have it here and just kind of keep the bottom ones undone. You could do a white tank top underneath and then keep this open. How else can you wear this? Like tucked in with one side. Sometimes I do that. So yeah, really cute. And you guys know I love a set. Obviously this is the second one I'm showing you in this entire vlog. Okay, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I didn't ruin my bun too badly while I was putting on this dress, but oh my gosh. I feel like this dress should cost literally three times the amount that it is. I feel like that's the running theme of the pieces that I'm trying on right now is items that cost a certain amount but should be, like I feel like this is a steal the way that this feels on. The fabric is very, very soft. I really like a soft knit, especially in the summertime. This slip underneath, if you guys own any skims, like none of the rib stuff, but like things that are not ribbed, like the Seamless collection, this is like softer. Like I could barely feel the first layer like touching my body that's how soft it is it's so buttery smooth and i'm gonna put you guys down a little so you could see the length i'm gonna back all the way up so it kind of like flutes out a little bit too this is a little different from the and other stories like nude cover-up that i have so you can see that it goes out into more of an a-line shape so that it drapes really really nicely and it moves super nice too like when you're walking around and stuff but I think that this is absolutely stunning it's a true white also so you can see that I have a tan now and I feel like it looks really nice with a tan and then as I mentioned before when I unbox you can wear it without this little slip and just have a really really nice luxurious cover-up okay welcome to the most comfortable strapless dress I've ever worn in my entire life I'm gonna show you guys the length first and then I'll go into some of the other details as you guys can see we have some pockets um, but this comes down to like 
I think I'm too far away. Um, but it's like a maxi length, which I honestly, I love when things say that they're maxi and they're actually long enough on me. Obviously, if you're a little bit shorter, you would have to get it taken up a little bit. But this is stunning. And it has a little lining underneath it too. Again, just like small things that like Zara could never do. Um, this neckline, I feel like is so flattering. It's just a nice little classic um, strapless shape. And then we have pockets, which I never put anything in my pockets when I'm wearing stuff like this, but I do kind of like the whole like casual, like it's a very like flowy piece. And I feel like this just looks really cool and effortless, which I am obsessed with for the summertime. This would also be another really good dress to wear. If you're in really super hot and humid climates, you don't really want like, again, I keep saying this, but I'm gonna put you guys up a little higher. Oop, shoes falling off. <laughs> um, but you don't really want any fabrics that are gonna be clingy. So as you guys can tell from the shape of this, it kind of just skims the body really nicely. Again, same thing that my um, green set does that I was wearing before. And this top material is super lightweight, but again, like it kind of reminds me of the Fourth and Reckless set. It's just a little bit thicker and you can really feel like the quality of it. And can we just talk about the pattern? I mean, I know that this is a little bit more than most people are comfortable with just cause stripes are very like stark, but at the same time, like you can kind of see that they, like they, I don't know how to explain it, but they kind of like blend into each other to the point where it just looks like this is the fabric and it's not this super like contrasted pattern. Um, but I just think that this is stunning and I'm just wearing my black Saint Laurent tribute sandals. I get a ton of questions on these, so I guess I'll just address this now. But I'm obsessed with these shoes. They are literally already worn, like you could see, I kind of like wore the logo a little bit just because I've worn them so, so much since I've gotten them. And they did give me blisters the first two or three times that I wore them. So just as a fair warning, but I do have wide feet. So I feel like if you have regular feet, you'll be fine. But I like these as an alternative to the H H&M. <laughs> Um, I wish. Um, the Hermes Oran sandals, just because I feel like those are very, very common. And this is the same exact look where it's a monochrome leather sandal, but I feel like it's just a little bit, um, just a little something different. Like everyone, I love the Orans, by the way. Not throwing any shade. I actually really like the khaki color, so I might explore like getting a pair of those sometime in the future. But I feel like they're just very different. And aside from them giving me blisters for the first couple times, they're like the perfect sandal. I have them in. Um, black and in brown. I don't wear the brown ones as much if you guys were wondering, but I do wear a lot of white in the summertime. So for the dish dress that I showed you guys, I could wear brown sandals with that and like basically any other piece of white clothing that I have in my closet, I would most likely put brown sandals and then they look really nice with all black too, which I have a lot of even in the summertime. So that is everything that I have to show you guys. I am going to go and hunker down again for work because we have a lot of stuff to do during my lunch break. I already have my packing list set and ready to go. So I kind of just have to pull the things and make sure that it fits into my bag nicely and then add in obviously other things that I think of along the way. And then I wanted to try to film a like summer outfit styling video because I feel like I haven't done that in a while, but I also don't want to like overwhelm myself and overcommit, especially since I'm traveling later. And I'm going to see another apartment. So I don't want to like overwhelm myself and go nuts. And so we'll see what happens. If I end up packing within like 10 or 15 minutes and I have the rest of my hour lunch break to film stuff, then I think that's definitely a possibility, but we'll see how long packing takes because you just never know. Please excuse the state of this half made bed that I did this morning. I just got back from apartment hunting. I went to two and one of them seems like we would have to apply today, which we are not really ready to do just because of our work schedules and because it's for an August 1st move in. And so I basically went and saw those, but I did meet a contact that has other apartments that will be better suited for our needs. Um, kind of like going into this next month. So it was great, but I just needed to show you guys. I wore this set that I was wearing this morning and this is a sweat stain because I got to the first apartment and was literally dripping sweat down my back. It was awful. It did not show from the outside, but on the inside, it was like completely just drenched with sweat. So that was super fun. Um, so item number one on the list. Then I also just received in this cute little PR package from Few, no, Few Moda. And how cute is this? 
little concept. So they did a little summer kind of beach bag. Sorry for all the paper ruffling. And they did a little paddle set, which is absolutely, oh, it's pickleball. Adorable. With a ball. I have no idea what this is, but I'm going to try to open it with one hand. Oh my gosh. It's a little film camera. Oh my gosh. I need to bring this this weekend if I have room in my bag because I'm trying to be good and condense the amount of stuff. And is it waterproof? That's absolutely adorable. Okay. I might have to bring that. Oh, it's striped. That's so, so cute. I don't even know how to get film developed these days, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Um, and then what else do we have in here? Little sunnies, which <laughs> if you guys know me, you know, I will probably not be wearing these, but those are still really, really cute. And then I think this is a, I don't know what this is to be honest. I didn't really like look through here. So this is super cute. What a great idea. And then this is the piece that I picked out. Let's, let's try to unpack it for you guys. So a very Jenna dress we have, and I'm sure none of you are going to be surprised, but it's this little like black and white number. It basically has like these cute little ruffle sleeves and then a black tie. So, you know, my favorite color combination ever. It's also eyelet, which I think is stunning for the spring and summer. I just really love this type of like lightweight fabric. And I think this is going to be a perfect little like evening dinner dress and things like that. Obviously you can wear it to events and things too, but really, really cute. So thank you Fumoda for sending this over. And now I will draw your attention to our packing situation. So this is, I think everything that I'm going to bring, maybe just one more lounge set, um, to wear around the house before we go to dinners and stuff. This is my list that I had. Um, but for the beach, I have my white button down shirt, which I might switch this out for my linen one, just because this one is a little bit more like formal and I don't really want to use it for the beach because it's really nice. So let's put that over there so I don't forget. And then these are striped shorts that I have off of Revolve and I think they're Tula Rosa. Majorelle. I can never get those brands right. And then just my makeup and skincare is all inside of this one little teddy bag. This is my sunscreen. So I have the sun balm and my Innisfree face moisturizer slash sunscreen in there. Then we of course are bringing the set that I just got from ASOS and my Skims bra because I don't know what I would need that for but just for cozy lounging around. This is going to be my hot girl walk outfit. So I tried on the shorts for the first time today even after having it for like a week and they look so good and the fabric's not see-through. You also can't see my underwear lines which is still like confusing me a little bit because you would think that in this material and in this color it would show a lot but it doesn't. Um, and then matching top, obviously I'm going to wear my gray little new balance sneakers there to number one, view an apartment and then, um, wear down there. So I don't have to pack them. And then for my other shoes, I'm going to be wearing, um, uh, my Saint Laurent Brown sandals because I'm going to bring this little floral dress to wear to dinner for the night that we're going out to dinner. And then in here, I just have like my little Tiki's beach flip flops, but in an Aquatalia bag. And then just my curling iron my straw hat because this is one thing that I didn't bring with me last weekend that I wish I had. So this one's from Zara. It was like 30 bucks. Um, and then all my bathing suits were inside of it just to kind of help keep the shape and pajamas. So really quick weekend trip. I'm not trying to go crazy, but I think I can fit all of this stuff in my shoulder bag as opposed to using my super large duffel. And I'm going to kind of try to pack inside of my beach bag and then put the beach bag inside the bag. So We'll see if that ends up working out, but I will update you guys when I actually throw all of this in there. Okay, so I managed to fit everything in this Herschel tote with my little beach bag on the side. I was going to try to fit everything into here, but I felt like just in case we do some shopping or something, I didn't want to like over overpack because I do have to get back from Hoboken into Manhattan when we come back. So I did just receive <laughs> this Amazon package. I did not know this was going to happen, but... I ordered, I don't know if you guys could see it. Let me see if I could try to zoom in. The lighting's terrible, but I ordered these earring backs that kind of have a flat disc on them because I have this pair of earrings that I really want to wear. And the backs that came with them kind of make them sag on my ear. I know that sounds really strange. So these are the cute little earrings that I want to wear. They're kind of like this little pearl shape. And on the back, they just have a regular, like, what is that called? 
I don't know, a regular back. So I got these ones to kind of hold them up a little bit. So I'm gonna take two of those out of there and then get dressed because it's gonna be time to leave in about 15 minutes. And I'm gonna go and see this apartment, get on the path, go to Hoboken, go to Maryland, I mean, Delaware. I think we're going to Bethany Beach. I should probably know that. Um, but <laughs> we have a long travel time ahead of us and I've already had two coffees and kind of want another one. All right, at this point, I don't think I could sweat anymore if I tried, I don't know why I didn't put on my AC unit for the past almost like two hours, but I'm sweating and maybe it's a good thing because I'm just gonna go outside and sweat some more. So I am all packed up, ready to go, and I changed my travel outfit because I was originally gonna wear my olive green shorts, but I'm trying to look presentable and the goal is kind of like cool mom because when you're going to see apartments, you need to look proper and responsible. And I just made that up, but um, that's what goes on in my head. So I put on this cute little eyelet top. I'm wearing like a black, what is this called? Like a triangle bralette underneath. So you can kind of see it through, see through it um, or see it through my shirt. Oh my gosh, I'm in a hurry. So that's why I'm jumbling up my words. Um, but I don't really care at this point. I'm like so sweaty and irritated. <laughs> that we're just gonna roll with it. And then my shorts are my navy linen shorts from Uniqlo. You guys would have seen these in a little like what I bought in the stores um, unboxing that I never tried on for you guys. And they're just like a really good fit. I got them in a small to kind of size up and then I just pulled the drawstring tighter and they make this really nice waist. The important thing is that aside from my undergarments, none of these fabrics are touching my body. They're just hanging gracefully not making me sweat any more than I need to and then my sneakers are just my New Balance uh what are these 299 H's these are like available on Amazon so I'll link these for you um they're just a really really comfortable sneaker to wear and I think they're like $80 they're so much more affordable than the 274 H's I think they're called which are like $200 and they give basically the exact same look they're the same colors and Honestly, it feels like I'm walking on a cloud. So that is going to be the end of this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed these last couple days with me. I am going to vlog when I'm down in Delaware for the weekend for our little girls trip, but I don't know how much I can film because my computer, I mean my camera battery is actually running. It's not running low, but I didn't bring the charger. It's actually at home, which I'm a little peeved about, but it'll be fine. I'll probably ask my boyfriend to pick it up for me next time he comes into the city. But I will just vlog on my phone if that's the case. We just don't miss a day here. So make sure you guys are subscribed so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I love you all and I will see you soon.